Hey guys, it's Madam Warrior. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. It is the last day in August and boy is it a new day. I have done so much work on this town in the past several days. I can't even tell you guys. I played this game for hours. I am a slave to this game. I've probably invested about 10 hours in the course of the past like two or three days just fixing up this town, making it look exactly how I want. And I was very inspired from some pictures I saw online and I was like, you know what? We need to get this campground like cute theme going. So I was just done. I'm like, hey, we're gonna do this. And we did. And I am so happy with how it's turning out. I love it. We're gonna start with the most boring section, which is this middle section here that has a lot of potential for growth with public works projects. And I'm just like trying to replace every single one of the trees with a pine tree so we get that really foresty feel. I've got the tunnel of trees still, this diagonal tunnel going. And we actually got a new neighbor up in that corner. I have no idea who's living there. Um, I saw that they were gonna build a house in my town there and I didn't even look. I was like, I'm gonna leave it to a surprise because we've got some things to do out of town before I reveal how things have really started to shape up here. So yeah, I'm trying to replace all these trees with um, pine trees or cherry trees particularly to make it very much like our town. So it's native to us, it's native to Big Pimp. No crazy like tropical fruit or anything. I don't remember if this is a cherry tree right here or not, but I just haven't gotten enough saplings to be able to replace all of the trees yet. Like this right here is fine because they're cherry trees, you know. But anyway, um, I've rearranged the flowers. I've picked up everything and put them in different places. So now I have um, just kind of scattered roses over here and I tried to scatter them so they look natural like you would see in a forest or a park or something. Lilies are next to this little pond. Um, we've got our orange orchard down here and this is where it starts to get really cute. I love this so much how it's turned out with the stone. So I added a sidewalk. Um, I'm probably gonna end up replacing these trees as well. Oh, hi Igly. Oh my God, was that Beardo? Oh, oh my gosh. What? But sure, I'll take your Igly 101 class. You know what, Igly, you're interrupting my town tour that I'm giving right now. And it's with your BS, okay? Sure, I will come over at one. Anyway, look at Beardo! So cute, I love it. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, he's using our new bench! This is my favorite thing in the world. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh! I was so nice waking him up with my net. So anyway, I've added this stone sidewalk that I got off of Tumblr. I was looking for something pretty rustic. It leads over to Beardo's house and then over to the other bench as well. I've added a lot of greenery, a lot of bushes. I utilized my other town shop. I was like, I was going crazy for like days and hours doing this, guys. I had to like backlog on my other town. It was insane. So all of the cherry trees right here are perfect cherry trees. I've arranged it so that everything is a cherry tree as well, a perfect cherry tree. And so that one growing back there, that's gonna be a perfect cherry tree in addition to the rest of them. Now I'm still putting just bread flowers in the fencing area over here, or the fenced in area, not the fencing area, you don't go fencing there, but I just can't get over the beardos on our bench, oh my gosh. I put Cosmos in that corner, Tulips in this corner. I tried to have Lilies over by the waterfall and Violets by the water. Um, oh my gosh, I just love how much it's turned out, guys. I, I am so happy with this. Looks so cute leading onto the bridge, which goes over here. This is the path to Caesars and Pate's house. Now, not all houses have a path yet. I just kind of built where I wanted to for now. And so this leads to the cafe and then I had the path go ahead and end so that I could have it more of like an area based um, idea rather than like, hey, there's a sidewalk everywhere. Cause like I said, I wanted it to be very much like a campground. So this is very open for a public works project. I have like a little 
tree shape of trees. These are um, the fruits that are not native to Big Pimp, but are native to other towns. So this is no tropical fruit. This is like uh, peaches and pears and um, apples. I think there might be a couple cherry trees mixed in. And then here's the sidewalk to Groucho's house and my own house, which I decided to plant nothing but lemon trees around. So I want to do like a classy, I was going for the banjo aesthetic, but then it just, I didn't find an exterior that looked right. The blue was too light. The black was too black with like a blue rim. It just didn't look right. So I was like, you know what? I'll go with the classic yellow, like my favorite colors, yellow and purple. I've got my favorite flower pansies outside of it. And then I had the pink mailbox for an accent. And when I was cutting down the trees to rearrange over here, I ended up with a special pattern stump. And it's the butterfly pattern. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty and so cute. So that's what's outside of my house now. And all those trees around my house are going to be lemon trees. So they will be yellow. So I'm very happy with that. This area up here, I haven't done much with yet. I'm still planning for it. And it's the only area that has just regular saplings pretty much among cherry trees. And um, I think I'm gonna add a sign outside of the police station. But, you know, I haven't really worked with that yet. Man, I really wonder who lives there. Over here is the same too. Um, this is just the, oh, apple trees because I think this corner is really cute. I'll probably add some patterning to the ground over here eventually. I'll have to work on that, but anyway, now we've got to go down and see my absolute favorite part of the entire thing. So, right over here. I love it. It's so cute. It's my campground area, and I love how this has turned out. I made this campsite sign based on something I found online. I actually scanned a QR code and you cannot use scanned codes on these signs in town. So I was like, no, but I ended up just doing it myself. I made the, I followed um, the picture and just made the sign myself. So I was like, I gotta have this campsite sign. There's a little well outside of here. I've got a little stump seat. I added some bushes and some mushrooms around, and I just love it. I love how it's turning out. I love the flower arrangement. It just looks very natural, very much like a forest and so cozy. I'm like, I want to live in this campground, like literally. And we have a camper today of all things too, so it just makes it look extra cute. I love it. So, you know what? This deserves a photo, seriously. Ah, uh, oh, you know what? I should do a pose. Here we go. Yeah, taking photos. Okay, so we'll go in and we'll see who's camping in town today. Then we'll meet our new neighbor. No, no way. There's no way that you're here right now. Freaking Queenie. Queenie, you're like the last person I would want to live here. Why? Look, my town was so good. It attracted a snoot. What? No, I don't want you to be my neighbor. Quick, get out before she gets any more ideas. Seriously. Oh my gosh, you guys. I spent so much time chopping down trees and everything else. These are, by the way, these are going to be apple trees around the campsite. Except for this one over here, I think this is just a regular sapling because I wanted a little bit of variation, but... I absolutely love it. I love it with the sign and everything else too. So it's super duper cute. I just love how all of this turned out. Like, I can't say, I, I can't even like, I mean, I can say how happy I am with it. You can probably tell by how excited I am. But like, I really just love how it's turning out. It looks so much better now. It has the look and feel that I was hoping for. And I'm just going to continue to add more public works projects, more patterns, and more trees to make it really stand out. So I just, I'm, I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out. Look at her fishing. She's got her fishing pole in the water. What? Wouldn't it be funny if a fish cast a line with pizza on it? Oh man, I'd be a victim. I would. You guys know how much I love pizza. Good to see you again. All right, want to chat? Um, sure. Oh, you really want to? Okay. That's like super easy, so we'll go ahead and do that for you, Beardo. Especially since I woke you up by hitting you in the face with my net. So Caesar's home. Why is Caesar home? 
He's been home a lot lately. Oh, that reminds me, his birthday's coming up and I got an invitation to his party in the mail, so I will show that off um, right after we talk to him, so. All right, you want to talk to me? Yes, want to chat? Do you have any plans? Oh. Finding my keys? Oh, for God's sake, Caesar. Okay, so this is something that villagers ask you to do. Super random, but they'll have these petitions that you need to take to another town and have their villagers sign them. It's really weird. I don't really know what it does. You just get like a reward for it. Nothing crazy happens from it. It's just kind of a fun little activity to get you out of your own town and visiting your friends. So, all right, let me show off my letters really quickly. So, this first letter, no, that's, wait, yes, this is it. This is Caesar's birthday invitation. Okay, it says, hey, madam, the most important date of the year is September 6th. Why? Because it's my birthday. I want you to celebrate it with me. And hey, don't forget to bring a present. So, anytime a villager's having a birthday coming up, you will get a letter in the mail seven days prior, so a week prior to the event. And there are certain gifts that you can get them that they'll reward you very graciously for, as opposed to if you give them just anything. Then they'll be like, oh, cool, and they'll give you kind of like a dud thank you, or they won't even give you anything in return. They'll just be like, oh, thanks for coming to my party. Your gift was weird, literally. So anyway, that is the first. I'll go over more of that in, the, in a second, because we're going to actually address his birthday gift today. Um, I also got um, the flowery painting from Red, so we can put that in our museum. It's the Van Gogh painting. I'm not sure if we already have this one, but if not, we'll just put it, if we do, I'll just put it in my house. And Beardo sent us a random freaking letter. Here's something to make you even more enchanting. Don't be shy, madam, show off a new side of you that others, including me, are dying to see. Be bold. Okay, I'm really confused as to what this is. Um, oh man, the monocle, that, I always hope that, you know, when I thought as a child, like, when I'm date someday, I really hope that a man just sends me a monocle in the mail so I can just look amazing all the time. That That is, like, the number one thought that went through my mind. I, I can't believe Beardo knew. How could he know? All right, well, we're going to bust to move out of here. We're going to go back to my house, and then we're going to meet our new neighbor. I know I'm, like, saving that for the ending, but, um... I was just so excited to show off my town. Oh my god, I didn't even point this out. Tammy's wearing the Banjo-Kazooie shirt. She looks so cute in it. I love that she's wearing the Banjo-Kazooie shirt now. She was all whistling and excited. She was like singing when she put it on because I was rearranging my town when she did that. Oh my gosh, so happy. I'm so much happier with how this town looks now. Like I cannot say so enough. What's up, Pate? This might be really out there, but if you dropped an axe in a magic pool... What? Um... A glitter axe or a golden axe? A, a golden axe, obviously. Okay, well, way to throw it back to, like, the original Animal Crossing, Pay. You're kind of creeping me out, yo. Okay, so I was able to expand my house. And I got a new room. Now, I probably won't leave this this way. I just kind of temporarily did this because this is an idea I had, but I'm not, like, glued to it or anything. It's like a little, um, uh, movie theater, if you will, at the moment. What the heck is the show playing? Um, okay, but, like, it's super basic. I'm probably gonna change it, but it was just furniture I had for an idea, and, you know, I'm gonna probably not keep it that way but I do have a new room it's just the smallest size so our house now has all the rooms that it can possibly have we just have to work on expanding them and then get a secret room for extra storage this is how the froggo room is turning out I love it I used the froggo shirt on this dresser and it looks perfect and I used an emerald ore on this bench so now it is glittery and puts another shade of green in here I really like how this room is turning out by the way so I just wanted to show that off quickly. And now we're going to run into the Banjo-Kazooie room for Caesar's gift. Now Caesar, this sounds really funny, but Caesar likes old brown gifts. He wants gifts in the color brown 
and he likes old things. So if you go on Thonky, which is what I recommend as a guide for anything Animal Crossing New Leaf related, um, the best gifts for Caesar are literally old brown items. So um, this antique clock we've got here is perfect because it's old and it's brown. So something else you could use is like a barrel, which is kind of funny because it's like DK. Um, cash register, checkout counter, there are different um, shirts you can use, like the fall leaf shirt, which is one of my favorites. Um, you can use a samurai wig, like anything that has like a vintage theme or is like brown. If, if it's both, he's gonna love it. That's what you want to go for, is something that is both. But one or the other works too. It's just like I said, you're gonna get a better response if you have something that incorporates both of the animal's requests and liking. So what you do is you take this item, or you buy an item, or you know, whatever you're gonna do, and we're gonna save this out for Caesar for his birthday. So um, I'm gonna run up to the shop and that is so we can buy wrapping paper because you want to make sure it's wrapped. You can give them things unwrapped, but I wouldn't recommend it. They're going to be much more satisfied if you have it wrapped. Also, we're going to meet this new neighbor finally because I am dying to know who it is. <gasps> what? No way! Camo Frog, what are you doing here? You're wearing the pinky shirt? You mean to tell me that you moved out a wee pimp without me... I did not give her, him permission to do this, guys. I did not say, Camo Frog, you're allowed to move out of freaking Wee Pimp. Look at his Napoleon fish staring at me. I still haven't caught one of those freaking things. Yeah, you did recently because um, you lived in my town yesterday. Come on now. All right, well, we've got another Froggo in town. I absolutely love Camo Frog, so I don't have a problem with him being in my town, but what the heck did you move out of freaking Wee Pimp for? Ah, <sighs> traitor. What's up? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it's Camo Frog out of all people. You know, half of me is really excited, and the other half of me is like, what the F did you move out of my original town for? Dang it! Oh! Oh my goodness, Camo Frog. Seriously, I love Camo Frog so much. I love that he's here in the pinky shirt, though, because that means, like, the other villagers are more likely to start wearing the pinky shirts. <laughs> All right, well, that's our unexpected new neighbor. That's kind of funny. Okay, so... Oh, there's a doghouse in here. That's really funny. All right, so we need to buy some wrapping paper for Caesar's gift. I'll take it. And then all you do to wrap a gift is you open up your pocket and you pick out what you want and you just drag it over... Oh, wait. No, you don't. Just kidding. That's not what you do. <laughs> I thought you just drug it over, but I guess not. Now you select what you want. Yay! And then it's all wrapped up and pretty and ready to go. So we will give that to Caesar on his birthday. And with that, we are finished with Big Pimp for the day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you love the new town layout as much as I do. I'm really, really excited for it. I think it's super cozy and definitely what I was going for to begin with. So anyway, this has been Madam Wario and I will see you tomorrow for some midnight madness, I think is what I'm going to do tomorrow. So see you for some late night action tomorrow and peace out, pimps.